hey guys i'm rachel so today we are doing this jordan woods inspired makeup tutorial um i saw her interview with jada pinkett smith on the red table talk and i loved her makeup so much it spoke to me that's the kind of looks that i love it looks so effortless when she's actually wearing a shit ton of makeup it's so fresh and just beautiful so i thought why not recreate the look and i also included a mini hair tutorial of my half up half down hairstyle today so um if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned okay guys so i washed my hair braided like three quarter of my hair backwards and connected everything in the back together left the front off blow dried and flat ironed it now i'm gonna put this um what's the name of that again i don't remember uh this stretchy cap <laughs> damn i forgot the name over the back part of my head and this is the half wig that i bought from the beauty supply store this is the back it comes with the comb in the back and the front and it also has a drawstring that you can actually use this for a ponytail so i'm gonna attach that to the cornrows i'm gonna attach the front and the back and i paid like 20 dollars for this wig it's a very inexpensive and it served the purpose very well so i'm making sure that the combs are in the cornrows and that it is uh, sturdy i'm just brushing back the hair and i'm just showing you here that you can actually wear this like that with a headband you can do a center part or a side part with this wig as well it is very versatile okay so now i'm pulling up um the front of my hair the um the excess that i left out and i'm bringing it into um the the wig and i'm grabbing like quarter of the wig to mix in with my natural hair to create that half up uh, half down pony half up half down hairstyle um using this hair tie and i'm gonna secure that ponytail and just wrap it around until you're comfortable with the tightness wow that sounded rude <laughs> I'm just using my hair and wrap it around the hair tie and secure it with some hair pins. Now I'm using a toothbrush with this, um, I forgot the name of it, I'll link it in the bottom bar. And I'm just brushing my hair so it looks smoother. I'm focusing mostly on the front of my hair to smooth the edges and bring the excess into my actual hair. And that's basically it. Quick, easy, cheap half up half down hairstyle i hope you enjoyed <laughs> now i'm gonna prime my face with my ColourPop primer i'm gonna also use some mac stroke cream to the sides of my face i'm just focusing that on the sides of my face to bring some more radiance i love mac stroke cream I'm mixing Wet and Wild and Early Girl and I'm adding a drop of oil into that as well. It just helps the foundation to be more emollient and sip and dissolve really nice into your skin and make your skin be very natural and skin-like. So, and those foundations are very matte, so the oil just helps everything to look more natural. I'm going to do my brows as I usually do. I'm going to link my brow tutorial above. Is that IOC? I'm just doing something slightly different. I'm filling in my brows as usual, but when I get to the front of my brow, I'm using a thinner um, liner brush and a, my ColourPop pomade. And I'm just creating hair strokes to the front so it's more feathered and it's a lighter color. And I'm also going to neaten up that brow. I don't typically do this every day, but Jordan's brows was on point. Like her entire face was just on point. So I'm just using some MAC concealer to do that in a small concealer brush. Now I'm blending my concealer and I used a Maybelline concealer and um, NYX Can Stop One Stop. I mixed them because the Maybelline one was a bit too light and the NYX one could be lighter. So I mixed them together and the formula together was really, really, really nice. Give me really nice coverage. The Maybelline one is very high coverage as well. So I'm just blending that in with my beauty sponge. 
her under eyes are very highlighted i love the look so much can you tell can you tell <laughs> so i'm just blending everything i'm also adding the excess concealer over my eyes this is going to act as my base for my shadows later as well contouring with my color pop um stick foundation <clears throat> And I'm buffing that in with a brush. This is just gonna add dimension and everything back to my face. Snatch that nose. Then I'm just going over everything one more time with my sponge to make sure that everything is seamless and we have no marks of demarcations. You know the drill. Now I'm setting my face with um, my J Cat Banana Powder. I'm using my brush to do that first. I'm setting everywhere I highlighted and on the sides of my mouth and everything because I get crease in there. So I'm making sure that everything is set well with that J Cat Powder. And I'm sort of going in small circular motions as well, buffing motions. And here I'm using my Kat Von D Locket Powder. I'm just going to apply that to the areas where I get extremely oily. Because this powder is very light and has a very nice luminosity to it. Using Sephora Micro Smooth Powder on a puff, I'm going to apply the powder everywhere. I did not use that banana powder. And I'm pressing it into my skin and I'm not dragging. I'm just pressing so that everything underneath stays put. Going in with my Kiss Mineral Powder and I'm just going to set that um, cream contour that I used earlier. And I'm using this color because her contour was not like in your face but it was structured and nice. Dusting off the excess powder and here I'm going in small circular motions again. And I'm taking my time to do this right and buffing in the powder also. Using my Flower Beauty Sweet Pea Blush. I'm applying that to my cheeks, my chin, my chin, my chin. Damn, I can't speak. <laughs> um, the corners of my brows, um, the size of my nose, my chin. This just makes everything look very uniform and I'm not using much shadows today. So it's just going to create a nice effect. It's a nice trick to do. Setting my brows with my got to be gel. Then I'm going to set my face with my Morphe set it, um, setting spray. Fan that in so that it's dried. Then I'm using my Benefit What's Up Cream Stick uh, Highlight. And I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheek, my nose, my chin. She was highlighted, but she wasn't like crazy highlighted, like bam in your face, I'm wearing a highlight. But you can see the glow. And that's why I applied it just to the tips of my nose because you can see she was highlighted but it wasn't crazy and that um, highlight stick does that for me just giving me a nice soft subtle highlight going in my Jaclyn Hill palette and this color that I do not remember the name of I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade I'm going to windshield wiper motion and when there's nothing left on my brush I'm going in circular motions to bring it and blend it out and diffuse the edges her eyes were very very soft as well i even think the color i'm using just a bit too dark because hers was so so subtle but we're just doing a recreation then i'm using this soft brown on my lids and i'm not being very neat and precise with it i'm just blending it all over my lids and sort of blending it into that transition shade because i do not want anything to too defined i just want it to look like there's something there and very natural-esque and here I'm just making sure everything is blended. She was highlighted, so I'm using this other color from the palette and just pop some of that in the inner corners of my eyes. I list the colors in the bottom bar as well. Coating my lashes with mascara. She definitely had really natural lashes and nothing on her bottom lashes from what I could see in the picture. So I'm not gonna be doing anything to my bottom lashes. And I tried that for the first time and I really loved the look. Here I'm using my KISS number no. 1 natural lashes and I applied it to the center of my eyes first and then I'm going to attach the sides and adjust as I see fit. 
the glue was on my lashes for at least a minute before i actually applied it your glue has to get tacky first and i'm doing the same thing to the other eye i apply it to the center look down in the mirror and attach it to the sides adjust it until you get the, the fit that you want now i'm going in with my lip gloss my nyx butter gloss this is my favorite gloss of all time it's angel's food cake this is about my fifth tube and I'm actually running low on this one. I have to repurchase another one. I love this lip gloss so much and it's perfect for this look. She was wearing a gloss and there was no brown in the gloss. It was nice and pinky but not too pink. Just so natural and nude. I just love it and that's a perfect gloss for it. And that's a completed look. And I'm brushing up my flyaways and I hope you enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed um, doing it. I love the outcome and it's a look I would definitely, definitely gravitate to more often. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. So that's the completed look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun creating it and I love it. And I'm actually leaving the house in a while. I'm thinking about switching up to a red lip, but I'm loving the way this looks so much. It's so soft and subtle and fresh looking. Uh, it's amazing. I just love it. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, you, everything I use will always be in the description box. So you can always check that out. Make sure you follow me on my social media. Please subscribe, hit the bell. I really appreciate it. Um, help me to change the world one piece at a time here on YouTube. So until then, I'll see you in my next tutorial on Wednesday.